He said the pussy with the hard pussy. Yo! Like, he heard it all. Look how he turned around though, look. He's like, yo. He's like, yo, apologize to my wife. <laughs> oh. This is Word the Street with your host, Uncle Nick. I'm the bipolar, biracial bastard, the motherfucking lone wolf, the black Italian stallion. Uncle Nick is here to do motherfucking work, and if you don't know, you better ask somebody. The niggas, the bitches, the ladies, the gents, the rats, the cats, the motherfucking dogs, the babies, the aliens, the reptiles, the motherfucking reptilians. Ask them all. Uncle Nick gets down for the come up in a New York minute, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Stop fucking playing with me. I'm Sicilian, but I'm not a square. You know what I mean? Bada bing, bada boom, boom, boom. Motherfucker. Let's get this shit popping. Shout out the wolf back. Shout out everybody in the comment section. Everybody subscribing to the channel. All the old subscribers. Everybody that hits the motherfucking notification button. And most of all, everybody that donates to the motherfucking show via PayPal and Super Chat when we're live. We'll be live tomorrow, 7 p.m. But fuck all that shit. Straight off the bat, I want to motherfucking tell Jesus and Marrow. My bad, niggas. You understand? Y'all some funny motherfuckers, man. And I was sleeping on y'all comedic genius. You know what I mean? The more and more that I watch, yo, they represent in New York the right way. I like the fucking comedy. They on some throwback shit, but they also with the times. You know what I'm saying? They not trying to be the old niggas hating on the stoop. You know what I mean? So I can appreciate what these motherfuckers are bringing to the game. And like I said, my bad, son. I was sleeping on y'all motherfuckers. I didn't know y'all was putting in the work like that. But these motherfuckers had no respect. Back, they came for DJ Envy early, and this is what happens when you threaten niggas, when you act like you a tough guy, but you don't do shit. Let's get into this, and let's get it motherfucking popping, because you know how we do. We got two guests in the building. Why you ain't yeah. say special guests, man? We got dickhead and pussy. Let's <laughs> wow. Stop. Hold on. Hold on. That was the, I'm about Did to my stop. nephew write that for you? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the like oh, at least give me at least give me a Jesus, uh, diseases and Jesus, zero or something. Zero, something. Come, come on, on dickhead and pussy. pussy. Like there's no P. You didn't even try, did you? Like, yo, come on, my nigga. I mean, in that ten minutes we saw you outside the studio before we did the interview, and you didn't talk to us, maybe you could came up with a better name there. Now, evidently, DJ MV isn't a funny guy. He doesn't crack jokes. Man, I'm serious and shit, you know what I mean? He be getting sun during some interviews. They say that nigga be looking like a little bitch. Nigga was acting buns with Trey songs or whatever the fuck was going on. I don't fucking know. Let's stick to the motherfucking script, right? But yo, this is the part that I focused in on. If you saw these motherfuckers 10 minutes before you were supposed to get on or you were standing in the hallway with them for fucking 10 minutes, you could have stepped to these motherfuckers and been like, yo, check this out. I'm about to come for your next, bitch. And I'm letting you know right now, you know what I'm saying? Because it is what the fuck it is. But when you have a corporate job and you're down with the corporations and shit, you can't be causing beef, you can't be walking up on people, you can't do things like you would do it in the street. So maybe that's why DJ MV fell back. But now, I'm hearing through the grapevine that he called up Joe Button before the show or whatever the fuck, and he was telling him, yo, I got a problem with this and that. Yo! Stop calling everybody else. Stop acting like a bitch. Stop trying to act like you a super gangster. When these motherfuckers was in your face, you didn't say shit. And you could have addressed this shit way before the fucking show or anything like that. You could have actually seen them niggas in the green room or whatever and been like, yo, I'm going to put my wife on speakerphone. Apologize, niggas. You know what I'm saying? And they could have did a group apology. Yo, my bad. Woo -woo. Yo, I'll talk to you later, honey. Hung up the phone. Then you could have went out and been like, yo, check this out. I just made these niggas apologize to my wife in the green room. It is what it is. Let's get it popping now. You know what I'm saying? I just had to let that be known. He could have handled it better because now that I'm finding all these little details out behind the scenes, you look like a sucker, DJ MV. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? But let's continue to break this down. Shout out these niggas, these are some marrow because they roasted the shit out of DJ MV. Let's go. Man. Got dickhead and pussy. Let's go. <laughs> wow. 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 That, that's see, see, though. Those three classes that I'm about to snuff this nigga. Roll it back. This is a Bronx reaction. Any, there's only two times where people go, wow. That's when a nigga's lying and a nigga's like, oh, I'm about to hit somebody. Wow, wow, wow. wow. You know, usually, usually, 
usually, time. usually we are. You, I would always like to start off by saying welcome, thank you for having us here, at Breakfast Club. And like I said in the other video that I did when this shit first happened, you know what I'm saying? That motherfuckers was laughing and they was moving around, and that's a bad motherfucking sign for you if you trying to be the motherfucking tough guy. Cause niggas is letting you know right now that your dogs, your little fucking haymaker, pussy and dickhead or whatever, that was your motherfucking big punch. Look out of here. You fucking with some real niggas right now. I guess DJ Envy thought that he was going to motherfucking set the tone and these niggas were going to fall back and get in line and shut it down and be like some pussies. Like he said, nigga was like, word, you want to get smacked the fuck up before 7 a.m.? That's what's popping, my nigga. I respect your fucking gully gangster, but we about to get to it. Shout out that motherfucking nigga Mero. Because like I said, even the nigga Deezus, they body language changed, man. You could tell that they were like, Oh, word, this nigga wants to get beat the fuck up right now. Let's get it popping, nigga. And like I said before, Leonard, you ain't gonna do shit. And Angela Yee, you ain't even in the motherfucking frame, girl. So you just sit there with your little bun and your little sweater and do what the fuck it is that you do. You know what I mean? Let's motherfucking go. I'm having fun with this shit, man. Shout out the Wolf Pack. My guys, what's, let's, what's let's, all this fight? What's let's going start, on? We're gonna start with this. You, you owe my wife an apology. We owe your wife an apology? What Absolutely. do we do? When you insinuated that she was there for the check. Look at yes, our faces. We're like, what? What is he talking about? I'm like, what the? Bro, we talking about Trump? Uh, somebody we talking lady about Putin? We talking lady about shit on the lawn? We talking about nerve things. We even had Jimmy uh, Fallon uh, up here. Llamas fucking nigga. Like, what are you talking about? Be more like, specific. Yeah, like, I mean, I, mean, I don't want to brag. We do four shows a week, my guy. Like, you know what <laughs> it's hard to keep up. That shit is wild, corny, DJ Envy. You saw these niggas in the hallway, son. You saw these niggas in the hallway, dog, And you chose to be silent as a mouse the night before motherfucking Christmas, nigga! So don't come up in here with all this fucking tough guy shit now. You look stupid, son. Let's fucking go. I ain't even got words for that right there. You look real emotional, nigga. Fuck out of here. Uh, you said she, in my head, I'm like, really? You said it exactly, I heard it. And so you feel... Right uh, look at the piss off meter. Look, uh, the beige range meter. Look at him, bossing up. <laughs> bossing up. Oh, He's almost at the super combo. Is that meter, that's him getting mad at us, or is that like all the interviews where he was wild buns and now uh, it's finally coming out? It's all coming out, yeah, it's okay. all. He's over 9,000 now. But what is DJ Envy supposed to do, really, though? If his wife's telling him, yo, you gotta do this like this, or when you come home, there ain't no poo tang, or we're gonna have issues, or she's fucking arguing with you, or whatever. So you're like, yo, you wanna have problems with your wife, and fucking uh, have the household in uproar, or whatever the fuck, or you just wanna go at these niggas on the radio, whether you wanna do it or not, block the fuck out on them, make your fucking wife happy, go home, and that's what the fuck it is. So in my opinion, I think that's why DJ Envy went so motherfucking hard. His wife allegedly was like, nigga, you better roast these niggas and you better come at them on some rah-rah shit and let them know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Let the world know you ain't no pussy and you ain't having that shit. I don't want to hear my name no more on that goddamn show. You heard me, Rashawn? Make that shit happen, nigga! So, you know, that's what he had to do, most likely. Allegedly. But anyhow, I don't give a fuck either way. But what the fuck was DJ Envy supposed to do? Gotta stand up for his wife if that's what his fucking wife wants him to do. But this shit is pure comedy. Jesus and Mara don't give a fuck. And these niggas went hard body karate. Like, fuck you, nigga. Your whole style is chump. Let's motherfucking go. I feel the clip right now. Yeah, you all right, let's, let's, let's hear the clip. Let's hear the clip. Let's hear the clip. Hold on, you. We got the, the clip. Since 15. All right, let's hear the clip. Hold on, I'm talking. Since 15. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. <laughs> that's what I'm talking. Do. That's what you do, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> rah, rah, rah. <laughs> right, the brand's 100 old. Check the stats, nigga. Don't play with me, nigga. Now that's that real shit, and that's the shit that I like to see. You know what I'm saying? You was acting like you wanted some drama for your mama, but you ain't want no motherfucking hands. You ain't want nothing. You just wanted to get up here, huff and puff, Blow some motherfucking smoke and then keep it pushing. Fuck you, motherfucker. We here to let you know that you couldn't fuck with us then. You ain't gonna fuck with us now. And now we gonna sun you, motherfucker. Every time something pops up or this and that, or we get the opportunity to just fucking kick you down a flight of stairs, motherfucker. That's what we gonna do. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna roast DJ Envy until there ain't no motherfucking roast left. You understand? Stay in your motherfucking lane. Ain't nobody scared of you, DJ Envy. Now we really gonna put the fucking pressure on you. You don't want no motherfucking action. 
saying? You know what I'm saying? And I truly believe that they would have beat his motherfucking ass up in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because them niggas look like they wasn't having it. Shout out Jesus and Mero for keeping it thorough. Five borough thorough on some New York shit. You know what I'm saying? This is the shit that I like to see. Let's motherfucking go. Shout out the Wolf Pack. Before I had a dollar, she okay. was making more money than me. So to insinuate that she was there for a check or she's good with Envy's check is a, is a disrespect to me. Okay, enough. can I hear the clip? Play the clip, nigga. Please. Like I was Rashawn at home, but in the streets I was DJ Envy. Mm -hmm. So right. it was two different mm -hmm. people. And I didn't know DJ Envy. Right. And it, it was it was a situation. Well, you know them DJ, DJ Envy checks so, though. What? what the f I don't I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. At the end, what did I say? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't I was know. being messy, right? Mm. So we made a joke. Now that was some funny shit right there. I noticed that in the first video, but I was staying focused and I didn't have a lot of time to fucking roast everybody and get into it. But what the fuck was DJ Envy wearing? Nigga dressed up like Tattoo from fucking Fantasy Island and shit like that. Nigga looked like Colonel Sanders at a motherfucking gay discotheque. Nigga dressed up like he was going to the queerest party on the motherfucking planet and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga looked like motherfucking James Bond, the fucking Momo version 2.0. What the fuck? Fuck is that that you wearing, DJ Envy? Get the fuck out of here. Take that shit the fuck off. Dress up like a man, and you definitely look suspect, my nigga. Shout out DJ Samara for pointing that shit out. Get the fuck out of here with that stupid ass satin blazer. Nigga thought he was doing something real fucking major. Slow that stupid shit down. Let's go. About you being on a show with your wife discussing why, I don't gotta say it, y'all know why y'all was there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we made a joke about that. Are hey, you getting mad at me? Fam, you went on a nationally televised show. A dressed, syndicated, syndicated show. Syndicated show. This shit comes on in the Ramada, my nigga. Well, come on, fam. When you turn the TV on, it's there. Mario Lopez is talking about it. Extra, you know extra. <laughs> come on. You went on TV dressed like you were going to Essex Fest to talk about your messiness. My man got on a satin jacket. Now, like I said in the first video, the only reason DJ Envy's upset is because of the subject matter. He went out there to the public, you know what I'm saying, trying to pour his heart out, let the public know that he loves his wife, he's not a cheater anymore, yada, yada. I don't give a fuck what you do in your life. It's your business, son. But if you put it out there like that, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers is gonna react to it. So I guess that he took some fucking home bridge or he felt offended and he wanted to do it some particular way. But why are you gonna call up Joe Button that. Why are you gonna tell this one this or tell this one that? Get the fuck out of here. You faking jack moves. You pump faking DJ Envy. And I hope that they roast DJ Envy a couple more times. Let that motherfucker know that is real, son. You wanna fight? Let's fight. We're gonna beat your fucking bitch ass up. And then after that, it can be what it can be. You know what I'm saying? We can go back to being normal. But I foresee Jesus and Mara roasting the shit out of DJ Envy at least two more times. You know what I'm saying? Whenever they get a chance. Because DJ Envy's probably gonna lay low now. You know what I mean? Try to get out of the limelight and all that shit. But it is what the fuck it is, you know what I'm saying? So yo, shout out the Wolf Pack. I gotta get out this motherfucker. We'll be live tomorrow at 7 p.m. Like I said, I wanna thank everybody that motherfucking donates. If you appreciate the content, all my links are in the description box. Behave yourself, be well, don't do some stupid shit, and I'm out this motherfucker. Peace!